Hi, and welcome to this Kasambi tutorial. In this session, we'll review the options available in the Network Setup section of the More tab. At the top, you'll see Network Settings, where you can change the network name, time zone, and location if you wish. You can also disable the nearby Luminaires control icon that would appear in the Luminaires tab. The network mode and operational frequencies configured when first creating the network are also displayed, but can't be changed. Sharing settings allows you to set different access possibilities for your network. More information can be found in our Sharing a Network tutorial. The control options allow some network-wide fade times to be set and luminaires to be enabled to return to their last dimmed level if toggled off and on from the app or a Kasambi-enabled switch. You can also set timers to automatically activate when power is applied and define if you'll be using control hierarchy. If control hierarchy is activated, you'll see a number of other options. Manual control behavior sets what happens after the manual control timeout expires. Always timeout means that any manual control will always be removed after the manual control timeout period has ended. Timeout if automation is waiting will allow any active sensor or timer commands to resume control, but if there aren't any active commands when the manual timeout period expires, manual control will remain active. Don't timeout will prevent any network automation commands, such as those from sensors or timers, from controlling the luminaires. Manual control fade out sets the time it takes for a luminaire to fade when manual control is removed. And daily manual control timeout periods can also be defined that determine how long the manual control commands remain active depending on the configured manual control behavior. For more details about control hierarchy, see the more information option in the app or our Kasambi control hierarchy tutorial. Performance and security is only visible in the app when you have an evolution network. Here you can configure a few additional security related functions. Disabling all of the unpair options isn't recommended. Additionally, you can also disable automatic firmware updates or hide network devices so that others with the Kasambi app can't see them. Add devices is only visible if you have access rights to a network. It's used as an alternative method of pairing devices. The Configure All Luminaires section allows you to simultaneously apply certain configurations for all luminaires in a network. Changing an individual Luminaire setting is done by accessing the individual Luminaire properties from the Luminaires tab. For shared networks, the network history allows the saving of configuration backups and automatically stores the last 50 programming changes as snapshots. For a classic network, you'll see an option to upgrade to Evolution firmware. This is very time consuming and involves many manual steps as well. It's only advised if you wish to have more than 127 devices in your classic network, or if you really need to use an evolution only feature. See the Kasambi Classic and Evolution Explanation tutorial for more information. Finally, device storage used indicates the memory storage space used in each Kasambi device in your network. There's only one value, since each device contains a copy of the entire network configuration. Further information can be found from our support website and in our app user guide. You can also sign up for our free online training courses on our website. Thanks for watching.